In this lesson, we will learn about astroturfing. This is a political equivalent of an artificial grassroots movement. The sponsors of a message make it appear as though it comes from the public. But that's not true. It is a practice intended to give credibility to a message or movement without revealing its true source. It was a term coined by Senator Lloyd Benson of Texas. The term originates from astroturf, which is a form of artificial grass. The implications of the term is that instead of true grassroots, the movement originates from a special interest group. Let's take the example of Big Tobacco. In 1993, the Big Tobacco companies created fake campaigns to spark a seemingly grassroots movement for smokers' rights. The internet has made it much easier for special interests to astroturf. For example, in 2001, when Microsoft was defending itself against antitrust allegations, the grassroots group Americans for Technology Leadership, heavily funded by Microsoft, conducted a letter-writing campaign aimed at getting citizens to lobby for Microsoft. In 2006, two employees of a public relations company started a blog called Walmarting Across America. It gave the appearance of a group of Walmart customers, but it actually was funded by Walmart. These are just a few examples of how special interests use astroturfing, and it seems to be a trend that's growing. As social networking and new technologies are increasing in popularity, 